Tonight, let's bring in the purveyor, Bernard Goldberg.com, who joins us from Miami. Bernie and I were talking in the break, and we both say this is the worst we've ever seen, the worst media expedition we've ever seen. So take it away. Well, in all my years uh, as a working journalist, I have never seen such shallow, thoughtless, agenda-driven drivel uh, as I have in the past 36 hours, and it's all masquerading as serious analysis and commentary. Uh, the usual suspects. And the usual suspects were Sarah Palin, Glenn Beck, Rush Limbaugh, and you, Bill O'Reilly. You created a culture of hate that influenced the gunmen. Anything any of you hate mongers have ever said about the hate and the this and that was despicable. Do you have any evidence that these people know anything about any of this? No. So without any connection, right. Keep your damn mouth shut, because what you did this time is worse than anything, almost anything. I'm sure if I thought long no, enough, I, I, I think this is something I think this that is was worse. But this I, is as I, bad I as anything, anything they've ever done. No, I, look, nine-year-old girl murdered, perfectly fine. The point fine. is, the point is that, it, that the conservatives they've lost, the middle-of-the-road people, the independents they've this? lost, they're, they're a dying institution. They're a dying institution. Yeah, but it's so morally I hope repugnant decent, that I, I, hope I just hope that there liberals. is. Yeah. I hope decent liberals out there who are listening to us and who have seen what happened turn sure. against Sarah Palin, Glenn Beck, Rush Limbaugh, and you, Bill O'Reilly. But who's there going to be a backlash against? The people on the Upper West Side of Manhattan aren't going to forsake the news. All of those liberals have to, who support you're, you're, you these organizations, they have to do it because they've lost everybody else. That you're absolutely right. You said earlier that, that the conservatives they've lost, the middle of the road people, the independents they've lost, it's going to take those people, and I'd say what? A million people there who are listening to us and who have seen what happened to cancel their subscription over this? But, and, and one word about the hypocrisy that you mentioned. If they were giving out Pulitzer Prizes for hypocrisy and intellectual dishonesty, there would be a whole bunch of men and women who would be clawing all over themselves creeping all over themselves to try to get their hands on Glenn Beck, Rush Limbaugh, and Bill O'Reilly, and assassinate them. That's my hope. That's my biggest hope tonight. All right, Bernie. Thanks very much. We appreciate Let it. Let me just make one other point. Okay. Keep your damn mouth shut, Bill O'Reilly.